Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today we are gonna be using the Elegantly Said. And then it comes with this punch as well. So I wanted to show you, I've got almost everything cut out because I really wanted to focus on using pieces of this and the punch itself. So I wanted to show you how versatile the punch is. So let's go ahead, we've got Early Espresso as our base. So we're gonna just take our bone folder and burnish that down really good there. And then we'll set that off to the side. I also have a piece for the inside because it is going to be um, too dark to write on. So when you have a dark color, make sure you get a lighter color to go right on the inside. And it's cut just a little bit smaller than the actual front of the card. I also have a piece here of Bumblebee, and we're going to add a little dimension on that with the stamp mm. that comes from the Elegantly Said stamp, and it's these little paisleys. And the color that I'm gonna be using is a very light So Saffron, because again, I just want to give a little bit of dimension on there. I don't want it to be overpowering. So I'm going to get a scratch piece of paper here. And we're just going to ink that up. If you want it to be darker, use a darker color. But we're going to come right here and I'm going to go off the edge a little bit. See how that's really light? It just gives a little bit extra. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just like that. So that's it, it's not a lot. Of course, you could use any background And then I have also punched out some little daisies here, the large daisy and the smaller daisies. That's just with a whisper white. I have my um, brush here and I've got my yellow ribbon so that I know I can use some yellows on here. Again, I don't want this to be too overpowering. So I'm gonna go back with a little bit. I'm gonna go with the bumblebee, but I'm going to have a very, very light touch. So just lightly tap, I'm not even giving it any pressure. And you see how much that picks up already. So I'm going to go ahead and go around and just add a little bit of color on here, nothing major. So you see there, and if you want a little more, just push a little more. I wouldn't go back to adding um, more ink on there. I would just continue tr going. And you see that it's very light. And then we could do that again. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap rub off any extra. Look at how much that picked up. And then we're just gonna go around here and give some color to those edges. And we're gonna do the same thing here on this one. So, brought in my early espresso little guy right here. And that is because I'm just going to add some little dots on here. Just letting it fall as around and giving it some dots. I'm going to do the same thing here.
And again, it's just falling where it falls. Okay. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of dimension there, you could go ahead and Just add some peaks to your flowers. I don't know what they're called. Just like that. So, I mean, you're taking away from the daisy aspect of it, but that's okay. You're making your own flower there. And it's just so pretty when you do that. And I just kind of do it in a, a V. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? That just gave that elegance to a, a little regular old punched out piece of paper there. All right, so we can put that little guy away. Next thing we want to do is we're going to get out again, we're going to get out the early espresso and we're going to stamp our greeting. I'm going to take my greeting and I'm going to stamp toward the bottom here. And there you go, it's that easy. We've got our nice little thank you on there. And finally, you're gonna take your piece of paper. I chose the early espresso. This one is a little bit over an inch and a half. And as long as it fits in this circle, not this circle, but this size or smaller, you're gonna be good. So you can stick that in there and punch out your sides and you're gonna have this round bottom. But if you want it to have a flat bottom, then you only stick in one side and I'm gonna show you, instead of sticking it in here, you stick it in through these little tabs here. Stick it as far as you want and you get this nice long piece that you could cut to whatever size you want. So see how that Oop. can go all the way across like that. But I don't want it just on one side. I want it to be like this on both sides. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna show you how I stick it in there. This does take a little bit of just patience, right? But once you get it in there, it kind of slides just perfectly in there. And then look at, you can go as long or as short as you want on your tab. I want mine to be a little bit longer. Uh, almost to the edge there. And then I just line up right between here and here. That way I know that it is um, straight and I know that it is even on both sides and then I just hold it punch it down and look at this label <gasps> isn't that beautiful all right I'm so excited all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna add on here even though I added with the so saffron I want this all to match up so I'm going to stamp the corner. Right here. With the bumblebee. And so now it's going to match very nice and pretty with the outside of the card. Okay. 
So let's go ahead, we're gonna put the inside of our card in. It is gonna be a lengthwise card, so you can put it on with your liquid glue, you could put it on with your stamp and seal, however you'd like. I'm just gonna put it on with my liquid glue. I got a little bit of glue here. But I like to use the glue because it allows me to move things around. I'm gonna grab one of my cleaning cloths here because I got glue all over my fingers from grabbing that, so. And it's sticking to everything. Okay, we, oh no, look what I did. That's okay, it'll dry. I'm gonna stick this little guy right on here again with the glue. It's gonna allow me to play with it just a little, get it nice and straight on there. I do have a little bit of wet right here, but again, that is going to dry. So don't worry about that. If you have that happen to you and you don't like it, just change it. You're good. Full, um, you can always cut it down and use it for something else. All right, let's build this card. We are going to take this guy here. Now you could cut it in half so you can use it twice, but I'm just going to put some of the glue right along here. And I'm gonna put this all the way over to the side. We're going to straighten this up. So you see how this now fits within those borders. And I've got my little thank you down there. And then I have to decide where I want this. Do I want it to sit higher? Do I want it to sit lower? I think I'm gonna go right smack dab in the middle there. And we're gonna add our glue, just to get those little edges. This is why I like the glue, because you can go in those edges there. And then just add this along. And now I'm gonna put that right smack dab in the middle. I'm gonna line up the edges, line that up. And I'm gonna flip it over. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna take these little guys and I'm gonna give them just a little bit of curve. I'm barely touching it. Just a little bit. And you can keep on doing that to give them more and more curvature, more dimension. Right? And the harder you um, push on it, the more dimension you'll have. So we'll give this one a little bit more dimension. Again, see that? These little guys are just adorable. and they do not have to match in how high they sit up. If you want them to curve a little bit, just curve. Just curve as you're going and look at how that's now facing that way. We'll do one facing that way. If you want it to go backwards, just flip it over, do the other side. And it's now going backwards because these flowers are different, right? They're all gonna be different. And now we're gonna attach these little guys, but we're gonna give them some dimension on here. So I'm gonna get my little guys, 
my dimensionals, my take your pick tool, where is it? And I'm just gonna move this around a little bit because I wanna still see this dimension there. And then these are little guys, so I'm gonna use my minis. Now I know when I use my minis, I have to get my take your pick tool out. It's just not gonna happen any other way. I'm gonna go with one right there. And then we'll have one more. And we're almost done. We'll put one right there. So we've got our little guys here. I think I'm gonna move this a little bit. Let's see, if you pull it up gently, you can move it. But you'll see why. All right, let's go ahead and add this little guy to the front of the card. all around the outside here. Push that all down, get that nice and now we are gonna add a couple of little bumblebees on here. How cute are they gonna be? Look at that. Simply adorable. So I'm just gonna put one here. He's going to be coming off the edge. So just a little dab right here. And you can put these on with the glue. You can put them on with, um, they could pop up with the minis if you wanted them popped up. Or you can put them on with glue dots. So we do need to let that little guy sit there. But not long, this one's already done. go that's our card isn't that cute let me know what you think these little guys need to pop up a little bit more so you could still do it on your card don't be afraid get those up there so you can give as much dimension as you like super cute all right i hope you enjoy this card i think it is super sweet let me know what you think make sure you give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already all right beauties i'll talk to you later later and have a great weekend bye